Hey guys, Monster here. It's been a long time. A couple months. Almost a year. It's been a crazy year. Really crazy year, guys. Um, a lot of life changes. I, I think I say that every video, but a lot of life changes to the point where, well, I've had to take a hiatus. I've had to take some time off, and, you know, I'm back now, and a lot of new gear, a lot of the same gear, a lot of upgraded gear. Um, I'm going to be filming two videos here, this one, and then I'm going to be filming a video of all my hunting firearms because I've been doing a lot of firearm um, stuff lately and a lot of hunting lately. I've hunted a lot this year and got some really cool firearms to hunt with and I figured I'd show them to you. But first, let's get into an EDC update. You know, that's what this channel's founded around and, you know, I've tried a few things here and there, but it, it all bases down off uh, EDC updates. What have I been carrying for the past year? Um, past couple months, it's relatively stayed quite about the same, actually. Um, rotated, same good bit of knives, same four knives I've been rocking for, well, the past, I don't even know how long it's been, six months. I'm just going to go off six months because I don't know how long it's been since I made a video, seven months. I'd say seven months. I think that was the last time I saw was I uploaded was seven months, except for that little short of my wife shooting the Glock. That was pretty cool. You should check that out. She handled that like a boss and shot a hell of a lot better than I ever could. So get yourself a badass country girl. That's all I got to say. But anyways, going from there, uh, same four knives, actually. Um, staple uh, in my collection has always been a paramilitary, too. Uh, I lost mine on a fishing or hunting trip, so I replaced it. I actually got a factory second one off eBay for like 120 bucks with the camo and black blade. Love it. Again, it's, you know, I've been using it, carrying that more than anything. My in-laws live a good three hours away, so every time we go up to the in-laws, and I'll do an EDC bag update because I have two EDC bags, one for just around town because everything around me is um, within probably a half hour, so I keep everything in one small backpack. And then when I take like three-hour trips or take hunting or camping trips, I take a bigger EDC bag, which is basically my smaller EDC bag, just super-sized with like more, like one item, but better, if that makes sense, or more magazines, or a little bit more trauma stuff, or, you know, something I can last a little bit farther away from home with, and then if I go hunting, I carry that bag along with the hunting bag, and the hunting bag has, like, a slim down version of, like, a first aid kit and other things like that, that have what I need, but not as much that's in my EDC bag for long trips, um, and then the hunting gear with the EDC bag in the vehicle. It's not as far. I'm never too far away from my vehicle. Even when I'm hunting, I try and stay as close to my vehicle as possible. So, but this is not an EDC bag update. This is an EDC update, an on-person carry update. So let's stick with that. You guys know I like to rant and rave, but paramilitary too. I love it. I've been carrying it a lot. The next knife is the rival to the paramilitary too, in my opinion. The Benchmade Griptilian in. Can you guess it, guys? Green. I still stick with the green a lot of the times. I beat on the Griptilian as much because I don't love it as much as the Paramilitary 2. And there's another sharp object that I carry on my person that I use as more of a beater knife than anything. This is more of a hard use or self-defense tool, if that. Um, other than those two, I carry... I like cheaper knives as well. Like if I go hunting or fishing, I tend to bring a cheaper pocket knife because I have a dedicated fixed blade to what I'm doing if I need to use it for defense or whatever task I need a knife for while I'm hunting or fishing. If I need to skin something, I have a skinning knife and then a wood, you know, splitting knife or something like that. So I usually take a cheaper pocket knife. And even around town, I tend to gravitate toward these knives a little bit more because they're cheaper. If I lose them, I break them. I'm not as upset. I got this one at AutoZone. It's a Smith & Wesson knife. It's actually really good. It's actually really sharp, very smooth. Flipper, non-spring assisted, but again, it just flies out of there. No springs, it's awesome. I love it. It's like 23 bucks. I found this one at my local gun shop. I can't find this knife anywhere. I fell in love with it. It was $17, and I fell in love with it, and I can't find it anywhere. I can't find it online anywhere. Nothing. Uh, this one local gun shop to me, um, I'm usually pretty loyal to the same two gun shops, but lately, with how prices are, I've been outsourcing to... Other gun shops, I try and stay very loyal to one or two, but again, with availability of things, if one shop doesn't have it and I need it, I will go to another, unfortunately. But this one shop that has an indoor range has a partner with a company called Voodoo Tactical. So I've gotten some of their mag pouches and things like that, and it's okay. They work. You know, I can't complain. It works. Um, 
So that being, they had a knife, and it's a little flipper knife, and it was 17 bucks, and I love it. I, I don't know why, what it is about this knife, but I love it. It is tipped down like the Smith & Wesson, but I don't really cry over it. It goes into my hand when I need it, so it is what it is. It's wicked sharp, 17 bucks, not that lightweight. Liner lock flies out of there, spring-assisted. I love it. For 17 bucks, I wish I could buy two or three more. But those are the main knives I've been carrying because on my belt, a buddy of mine, I've been copying a lot of stuff he does. He's been copying a lot of stuff I do. Um, carries a multi-tool on his person. And I've always hated carrying multi-tools because they were always so big and bulky. But this multi-tool is about 99 bucks at Walmart and it comes with a vertical sheath that I carry at appendix, vertical. And it is the Gerber center drive. The reason I love it so much is because of the quarter inch bit usage. I can grab any bit out of my toolbox and it'll fit in here. Um, I like the one-handed deployment of the pliers. I can deploy, uh, close them one-handed just by pressing this button, putting it against my jeans, closing it. And this blade, I use this for all the little package opening stupid shit that I don't want to dull up my bigger blades or my nicer knives for, you know. It's, it's a really awesome piece of kit, and I love it. I, you know, I just, I don't think I'll ever need another multi-tool. I, I don't. I, this is perfect for me. It is big and bulky, but I don't notice it on my belt. I'm not taking my belt off because things will get a little weird. And I don't know if you guys want to see me get that weird on camera. But if you do, you know, comment it. And, you know, maybe an OnlyFans. But anyways. <laughs> can't believe I just said that. Um, the belt I use is a We The People belt. It's awesome. I need something a little more sturdy because when I rock an outside the waistband holster when I go hunting or fishing... The Blue Affle Gear belt has been phenomenal, but it's starting to wear, it's starting to sag, and it just doesn't hold the weight of really anything anymore. It flops and sags. So this We The People belt is awesome. I love it. That's what I've been rocking as a belt, and I have had no issues with sagging. Flashlight is still the Streamlight. I do the Terribly Tactical mod with the shock cord where I can wrap it around my hands. This is a little awkward on camera. This is since I haven't done it. And I still have full access in my hand if I need to manipulate a firearm, a knife, I still can and still have access to that light. So, there's the flashlight set stream light. What is it? The ProTac 1L, 1AA. I love AA batteries. You literally can go into any gas station in the United States and get a AA and a pack of them and you're good to go. Also, in my now these are in my right pocket. This is on my waist, on my in a belt sheath, uh, left pocket. Left pocket, I like my Zippos, but they run out too quick. I have to refill them every week, every week, every week. Uh, I've been doing a lot of, again, hunting and camping. I'm emphasizing that, hunting, camping, and fishing, building fires and stuff. Um, I don't always use my fire starters. To me, those are emergency tools. If I have no access to a lighter, I carry two big lighters in every bag because they just never seem to fail. My Zippos have been failing. They just run out way too quick. I know there's ranger bands and things you can use to do that, but I like the traditional list of a zip off. I'm going to use a zip off. I'm going to use it how it's, you know, originally designed. So it just kind of sits in my car now, unfortunately. It is what it is. You know, it just, it is what it is, unfortunately. But the Bic lighter, again, green, of course, it hasn't failed me. Every time I needed the spark, it does. I've never had one run out because usually I end up losing it before it runs out. And they're two bucks at a gas station. Wallet-wise, I actually did switch to a real cherry wallet. I found a tractor supply. It's just a leather RFID blocking camo wallet. I like it a lot. It was like 15 bucks RFID blocking. Fits my two cards and my ID. Conceal carry, and that's all I carry. I don't carry cash ever. Um, I usually keep emergency money in the back of my phone for, like, gas. Which nowadays, instead of a $20 bill, I have to carry a fucking $100 bill because... You know, gas, excuse my language, but with how gas prices are, I think I'm allowed to curse a little bit. Keys, same thing, Chevy key, car key, little fishing guy on there. Uh, Night eyes thingy, I've used it to pry open windows when I've locked myself out of my apartment. Thing works, it's bomb proof, I love it, I've on every set of keys I have, because I have a couple sets of keys with the multiple vehicle thing. Um, that's it, it's in the pockets, that's that's it. Um, I don't carry anything else, I say um a lot too. I'm a little nervous. I haven't done a video in a while, so just bear with me. Firearm-wise, firearms have changed. My main firearm that I carried for the longest time, you guys know I changed a lot of firearms, but the one I always seem to go back to was the 45 Shield. Well, I ended up selling it, and I felt naked without one in my collection. So I was like, I'm going to get one, but for like $100 more, I can get the Performance Center. 
And, well, that's what I got. It's in a Wheel of People holster, which is, this is actually meant for the regular shield, but it fits the 45 shield. It's just a little snug. And this is hot. So I'm not, I'm going to point it in a safe direction and not at myself. It is a 45 shield performance center. I love it. I like the four inch barrel. I like that you get a four inch barrel with this thin of a firearm. Uh, seven plus one, a 45. Can't go wrong with it. I love it. It's not my main carry. My main carry lately has been, because that Glock 19 I had, I don't know if you guys watched my channel way in the beginning at a Glock 19. Battlefield Green, excuse me. I ended up selling that and getting something else. But recently I found a Gen 5 Glock 19 for right around 400 beans. And this is what I got for about 400 doll hairs. It is, I'm guessing Cerakote, I don't know, it was used, Gen 5, 3 mags, um, with this cool, like, battle-worn Cerakote on it, and it is hot, because this is what I'm rocking right now, and uh, I just have a black hawk outside the waistband, I've never had an issue with them, I know people say they're dangerous, but as long as you keep your booger, bigger, booger hook off the bang switch, there we go, wow, guys, it's been a while, maybe I should start that OnlyFans, anyways, as long as you keep your finger off the trigger, the gun's not going to go off by itself. I like it. Shoots very, very soft. This is the gun you saw my wife shooting the other day. I like it. I like the Gen 5s because the uh, wider sight. No finger grooves. I love it. I really, really do. It's been a staple now for me and my carry. And my backup mag for that is a 19X mag. I had a 19X for a while and hated it. The third gun in my rotation, my bedside gun. And when I take the light off, it, you know, I carry it is a Smith & Wesson, you guys know how I like my MMPs, an MMP40. This is the weird in the middle size. It carries the 13, I'm not gonna, I was gonna drop the mag, but it's hot. Um, and behind the camera, this is awkward. 13 plus one mags of 40. This is my bedside gun with the TLR1S. I have to pick up more TLR1s because I fell in love with them. And by the bedside, or when I carry it in the waistband, I carry this. I don't know what brand this was. It was just at my gun shop. I bought it. I got it like 25, 25 bucks off when I bought the holster or the uh, light. But it just, you know, the retention is off the light. So I can put any gun, any gun you've seen here except the the, uh, the shield, the Glock, and this fit in there with the light. And I've put a full-size 1911 in there with the rail, and it fits. Um, it's pretty cool, actually. I like that a lot. Um, that's about it. That's... Really, all I carry, oh, for the Glock and the MMP, when I carry them normally, I use these Polytech holsters, Polycraft holsters. They just fit my belt. For whatever reason, I need this specific claw, and these are like $20 holsters, and I like them a lot. So I have one, an identical one for the Glock 19 along with this one for the 40 one. I don't carry the light on either of them, but that's my bedside gun. I don't carry too much. But that's that's about it, guys. You know, it, a lot has changed. A lot has stayed the same, you know. A lot has been improved upon so i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope i can reconnect with you guys and get back into it i have 300 subscribers now that blows my mind you know i really want to do a giveaway when i hit 300 and i just time got away from me so hopefully we can get back into that and i hope you guys can start watching again and get involved with me and you know we can share freedom because that's what this country is all about and that's what i love about it so much you can have your opinion i'll have mine it's a beautiful thing so Let's share some freedom together, guys. That's what we're here for. So stay safe. Stay bladed. Stay pewed. Most importantly, guys, stay free.